Hey folks, Lindsay, Pickup Man 66 from the Reef Forums. I wanted to give you guys a quick walkthrough on the Archon, show you a little bit about how we're navigating around this thing. Uh, we're going to start off on the home page. This is where you'll log in. Uh, this is the main information page. Uh, it's customizable, so you can choose what porch you want to see. Uh, simply click the gear, select a port, put the checkbox in there and click update. And you can see now that port's shown up. If you want to remove a port, exactly the opposite. Now, we all can also do graphing from here. So if you wanted to graph something like our temperature, click that graph me button right here and the graph will show up. Uh, you can also graph outputs. Uh, if we wanted to see what uh, my light fixtures are doing, you can see I've got my ramping and everything going on here. Uh, or how often my heater kicked on. Uh, so we can do all that functionality right from this page. You can also turn an item on or off. For instance, if my heater was on but I wanted to turn it off, I could just simply click off. Or if I needed it to come on for some weird reason, I would just click on. You can see it's changed to on. Or we can go back to the auto functionality, which takes back into the programming. So I put my quick access things here. Lots of stuff I like to access, but just like to see the status of as well. Moving on, we'll go to the graphs page. This graphs page is actually going to be uh, where you'll have graphs for everything. So uh, it lays everything out for you, very easy to navigate. Uh, gives you a little bit larger graph than what you'll see here on the home page. Uh, cool thing about these graphs, you've got every port listed here. So if you wanted to go to the SL2 and look at the temperature for the SL2, boom, there we go. If I want to make this bigger, double click. Hey, we've got some more information. Now I've got a few spots here. This is where I was doing some updating in the system. Uh, so that's kind of why we have these particular items. Uh, you can graph the pH, you can graph the conductivity. Uh, everything is listed right here on the Archon. If you want a clear graph, just simply click delete and there you go. Uh, makes it real easy to do. If you also notice at the very top, it shows the data for that data point you're looking at. So you can go through and kind of see exactly how it is. Uh, moving on, we'll go to the Outputs tab. The Outputs is where we control everything. Uh, so everything going out of the Archon, this is where you'll do it. Your MLC, your ALC, your APC, uh, all those, plus the Archon ports and PC4s are listed here. Uh, simply clicking the gear allows you to edit an item. You can change the module name. For instance, this was a PC4. Uh, you can change the channel name and you can do the alarms, you can do the standbys, you can tie things to standbys. You can see this particular item isn't tied to anything, but if I wanted it to say only come be off on that standby, but I want it on on this particular standby, I can easily change that here and have something kick on when a specific alarm kicks on. Channel default is if it loses connection it's going to default to that and then just click save when you're done. Uh, that goes for any of these ports plus the virtuals down here at the bottom. Click show and you get 16 virtual ports down here. Moving on to the inputs tab, we're going to do this real quick. This is where you're going to do your calibration for your SL2 inputs or the inputs on the Archon. Uh, all of that is listed right here. Click the gear, click start, and there's your calibration. We'll click copy to copy the raw data into this box that then allows us to match that raw data to our set point to do your calibration. Very simple and easy here. Click finish, click save, and you're done. System page shows, uh, basically allows us to edit our timers, create new timers, uh, as well as then do our alarms and standbys, etc. Um, all your timers are listed here. You can show the data so you can choose how you want your timer to function. Uh, click update, saves that timer. Um, same with your alarms, we can uh, show the data here. Uh, it'll show us. Choose our alert type, whether we want to flash, a beep, or an email, or to click a multi-controller on. We'll talk about multi-controllers here in the future uh, on a future video as we explain some of the functionality of the modules. Uh, standby allows you to name your standby, choose its length, of course date, daylight savings time, time, night mode, temperature, etc. is all listed right here on the system page. On this side is some of the control system. Uh, it allows you to update your software, update your web pages, and update the software. In the command section, this is where we will 
type Linux commands if we need to do something with that. On the alarms page, uh, real quick, shows you your alarm log. It also shows which alarms may be active. And this is where we're going to input our email if we want the Archon to email us. So alarm log here. Uh, if it's false, that means it's not active. It's green, no problems. If it turns red, it'll say true, and it'll send you an alarm however you choose to. Uh, finally, uh, we'll show you the standbys tab here. It's really not a tab, it's more of a button. It gives us quick access to any of these standbys. So if I want to activate a standby, just click on it. Uh, from there, it'll show my timer. If I'm done with that standby, before it's over with, drop it down, click it again, and you're done. So hopefully that gives you guys a quick run through of what we're looking at with the Archon. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, catch up with me or one of the other beta testers on the forum, and we'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you very much, and have a good one.